everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will say first off, I did just film a first impression, so I'm sorry if anything on my face looks a little weird. I'm also very sunburned, so no foundation matches me at the moment, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. But um, I wanted to do a recommendations and wish list for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for Spring 2018. Um, obviously all these will be cruelty free as I only use cruelty free makeup. My son accidentally ripped this. But, you know, we're gonna deal with it anyways. I will also have a link to my blog post down below where I list out all the cruelty-free and vegan options that are going to be going on during the sale. So if you are curious about all of them, I will leave the link down below just so I don't have to talk about every single cruelty-free thing in here, especially ones that I personally wouldn't recommend um, or brands such as Tarte, which is cruelty-free, but I'm no longer supporting Tarte Cosmetics, so I'm not... I don't feel like saying that over and over, quite frankly, because a lot of their stuff is on sale. But um, I will say on March 20th, Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder Foundation with SPF 15 is going to be on sale for $14.75. Uh, regular price is $29.50, and I'm definitely getting this. This is like a definite for me. I really want to get this. I've heard great things about it. Everybody seems to love it, and I just really, really want to try it. So yeah, that is a for sure on my list. Going to be picking that up. Um, the next day on March 21st, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water is going to be $16, regular is $32, and I'm tempted because I do have a mini of it, and um, I like it for both priming and setting my face. I think it works really well, so I'm, I'm tempted because it's $16 and that's a really good price and I'm sorry if this keeps going in and out of view but yeah if you're looking into it would definitely recommend it as a really good product. Um, Urban Decay on March 23rd is going to have their eyeshadow singles for $10. They're normally $20 so I mean half off. Um, I don't have any of their singles anymore. I used to. Hmm. Um, I'm kind of thinking about it. I do have to look at the shades again because not all of the shades are vegan, but I'm going to look into it. So I may pick up a few. I'm kind of still deciding, but I do like Urban Decay eyeshadows. On April 5th, Urban Decay is also going to have their eyeshadow primer potion uh, for $10 to $12. Regular is $20 to $24. I don't think I will personally be picking one up just because I have so many eye primers, but it is a good eye primer if you are looking into it. On the same day, Juice Beauty is going to have their stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum for $40 instead of $80 and I'm curious about it because I haven't tried any Juice Beauty skincare have I? I don't think so. No, I'm trying to think it's subscription service wise but um, no have not received it and I'm very curious so I might. It depends. Let's see how much money I spend by that time because that's getting towards the end of this sale. Um, things I would not recommend. Y'all know how I feel about Tarte Cosmetics by now, so I'm not going to talk about that again. So really, already the second time that I have mentioned it. Uh, Becca's ba Backlight Priming Filter is also going to be on sale um, on March 26th. I personally did not like this. I found that it made me look greasy and I have dry skin, so I don't really know how it did that. But it did. Um, and I've seen other people say they didn't like it that much either. So I would not recommend that product personally. Uh, Lipstick Queen is going to have their Frog Prince Lipstick um, on April 4th also for sale. And I did try one of their lipsticks. And um, I just thought it was okay. I definitely want to purchase it for $25, the regular price. It's going to be $12.50. Um, I'm, I'm not going to personally pick this up. It's like their green one that turns pink when you put it on. Um, so... I think if it was a different shade, I'd probably pick it up, but I'm just kind of like, meh about it, honestly. Also, Too Faced is going to have their Better Than Sex Mascara on sale on April 7th, and um, it's going to be $11.50 instead of, what, $23? Yeah. $23, so definitely a lot cheaper than regular. I just don't like this mascara. I kind of had a love-hate relationship with it, and I've just come to the conclusion that I just don't like it. Um, I know a lot of people really do. If you're wanting to try it, it's definitely a good price if you want to go ahead and pick it up but it's just not my favorite so I don't personally recommend it I feel like you can find cheaper options at the drugstore but that's just me so they also have these hot buys that are going on every single day during this sale Bare Minerals is going to have their Gen Nude and Statement Matte Lip Colors for $13 and um, I really like their Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks I have a few of them myself they smell like chocolate in case you're curious I may pick up a shade or two extra just 
I like them. They're nice. Uh, Pure is also going to have their Miracle Mist for $10 instead of $18. I will most likely pick this up. I do like this setting spray. Would not personally pick up it but for $18, but um, for $10, I think I will go ahead and get that. Um, Laura Geller is a cruelty-free brand, and um, if you want to know vegan options, you actually have to email them with a specific product. I emailed them um, before about their Spackle collection, and I'm going to have to go back and look in my emails because some of their Spackle collection is also going to be in their hot buys. So I may have to email them again if I can't find the original one or if it's a different product. But um, yeah, they have something else that's going to be on sale. So I'm just going to email them in general and ask. So I have that information. But as of right now, I don't have that because I just kind of looked at it and went, Ooh, that looks interesting. I also did see they were releasing a lot of new things. They're releasing a few things from Little Barn Apothecary. I'm definitely not saying that right. So I may pick up something from them because I actually received something from them in a subscription service and I really liked it. So I may pick up something from them as well. Um, they are cruelty free and I think completely vegan. If not, I think their website does say. But um, I'm definitely interested in purchasing that. I see that they, they're coming out with new stuff just like constantly at Ulta, I feel like. Pacifica has an add-in here for their Aroma Power Modern Aromatherapy crystal infused collection and um it says buy one get one 40 percent off they have these kinds of thales, sales sales what that's not a word sales all throughout the uh 21 days of beauty and um i do like quite a few of these products i did have a first impressions would definitely recommend the face mist the crystal foam the perfume i'm just looking at this but um obviously you can go and look at my first impressions if you want i'll leave it down below in case you're curious but um i like a few things out of this collection my memory card filled up and i didn't notice and i kept talking so if it cut me off i'm gonna leave a portion down below in a like pinned comment letting you guys know what in the world i said because i have no idea if it cut me off and it's late as night late at night as per usual when I'm filming because it's just that's just what I do but um yeah let us know down below what you guys will be picking up during the sale I hope you found this video somewhat useful and if you did like this video please be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz you can follow me on twitter and instagram my links in the thing of a jigger thank you so much for watching and I will see you later bye